right. Hello, everybody. Stan Dale, president of Florida Suncoast BMW chapter. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I have a great, uh, great opportunity this afternoon to share some time with a true dear friend of mine, Larry Cobb. Larry's been a member since uh, 2021. And since in this short period of time, we've covered a lot of history, a lot of grounds, a lot of miles together, right, Larry? Oh, had fun all the way. Yeah. Um, Larry lives up in, lives in Venice, Florida. And, uh, we, we sort of met up at the BMW uh, of Sarasota Cars and Coffee. That's where we got our, our uh, an initiation together. But we truly have been thousands, literally thousands of miles together um, over the last couple of years. Larry was one of the folks that joined us on the October drive last year to uh, North Carolina Mountains, and he's going to be on that drive again this year. We just got back from the uh, BMW CCA MIX in uh, Greer, South Carolina, and Wow, uh, did we have a blast! The drive up the whole nine yards. We had a great group going up, and uh, and and Larry was part of that. Um, Larry, uh, what's your initial takeaway after attending the 2023 mix in uh, in Greer, South Carolina, this past weekend? It was a major aha. I mean, I I've built brands and been responsible for brand building my entire career over 50 years. Okay. And, and to see what BMW and BMW CCA did for uh, us as members and, and brand uh, loyalists, loyalists and, and brand ambassadors was just like over the top. I mean, they, they treated us well and it by far exceeded my expectations. That's awesome. Is there anything else that contributed to that aha experience that you, you'd like to tell the folks about? Yeah, you know, it, it it brought people together that had the one common denominator is that, that our love for our cars. You know, I talked to people from Washington, D.C., Montana, Chicagoland, and, and all of them were passionate about their cars. And many of them had multiple BMWs or, you know, like myself, it had, you know, BMWs over the years. And so we could trade stories. Yeah, I really love my 533. And, you know, that 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 convertible was good or, you know, back and forth. It was just a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of folks there too as well. So from what you expected last weekend, how did BMW CCA's event planners measure up? Well, I think the whole thing started when we we checked in at the performance center. Yeah. I mean, normally when you're going to check in a large group, there's this fumbling and, and, you know, can you make a line here, go and queue over there? No, they, they, they said, what's your name? I give them my name. They handed me a hat, you know, really cool hat. I don't know what's on the back too. Yeah. Uh, and, and then we went and had a latte, sat down with friends and started sharing experiences all over again. I got to share about how my windshield wiper fell off on the way up. And how Kevin came behind me with an umbrella and we put it back on with a new one out of the trunk. Yeah. So it's like, you know, once again, sharing experiences and the way that uh, both BMW and BMW CCA hosted us all and made us feel comfortable and welcome right from the very beginning. Yeah. Briefly, and you mentioned windshield wiper, and I want to sort of add some clarification to that. So briefly, tell us about your Friday driving events. I know that happened on Thursday, but tell us yeah. about your Friday driving events at the Performance Center. What did you do at the Performance Center on, on Friday? Okay, I started off with a slalom course, and, and I put up a time, and I thought it was pretty good. So I thought, I got to better this. I got to get one better than the one I did, you know? Yeah. So I took out two cones. <laughs> so second run didn't quite make it, you know? Uh, so I went from there over... And on our way to the the chase, uh, my friend John and I had a, a chance to stop and and they said, hey, would you like to take a ride with a professional driver? And we said, sure, why not? I didn't know what the deal was. Oh, my goodness. All right. So if I drive my car hard and I judge it against this guy, I'm driving my car at maybe 50 percent, you wow. know, yeah. and and. I, I we came up to this one turn and I thought for sure this guy's going to take out the cone. He's going to take out the cone. That cone is right there. No, not even close. Not even close. And then, you know, I asked, OK, so what have you done to modify this car? No, we can't modify any of the cars on this track. They're all as they come out of the factory. Wow. Amazing. Then we did the chase. Love, love, love that. And so much that I waited in line and did it a second time. So the chase to, for folks is 
That's on the skid pad. It's on the wet pad. No, no, no. That's that we're going to get to next. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, sorry. no, no. They had they had a, a professional driver, and this guy's this guy's un, unreal. So he's driving this course that we're driving with all the concentration we can give. Two hands on the wheel, looking through the windshield, side windows, the whole schmear, and and he's driving with one hand, looking in the mirror, and on his radio. Okay, he's saying, uh, third car, you, you, you're using too much steering." You know, uh, whatever it happened to be, he was coaching three cars behind him with one hand on the wheel, one hand on the radio and talking while looking in the mirror. All right. So that was great fun because we were able to push those cars really hard wow. and, and and have a whole lot of fun. So much so that I, I went through that a second time. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Then, then we went to the skid pad. <laughs> That's yeah. fun. It was an oval track. All yeah. right. And in the middle of the straight stretch, they put one car. And then on the opposing straight stretch, they put another car in the same place. Then you take a couple laps and you chase each other around. They've turned off all traction control and it's a wet track. I looped it. Yeah. Not only did I loop it once, I looped it twice. All right. <laughs> so never say I don't give it a good try. Uh, once it started to go around, I just I said, okay, we're going for a ride. And I you know, just kind of hit the throttle again. We just hit it all over again. So you took a friend with you this time. I, I had a chance to meet your friend Jim. We had we had uh we had John, lunch together on John. Uh, John, uh, John. I'm sorry, John. We had lunch together on Thursday during the drive up. Got to spend a little time with him there, and then uh, got to got to to spend some time with him at dinner on Thursday night. Uh, wh what could you share his reaction to the mix? You you, you shared his reaction with me. I want to share it with the folks. Somebody yeah. that doesn't own a BMW. What do you think about this? So he's only ridden in my cars, okay? Uh, and he's driven them both. Uh, but he goes, you know, I, I want to tell my friends about this, but I don't know how to do it. You know, they're not going to believe me. Yeah. And and I'm not going to know how to describe being able to drive a car this hard and this fast. And, and a stock factory car that did what this one did. Yeah. And so he was, he was over the top and... Uh, now he's out shopping for an X5. There you go. <laughs> another another con convert. So were there any complimentary activities that made the uh, made the event significant, made a significant impression on you? Uh, yeah, the other it, weekend? logistics. We'll start with, you know, on, what was it? On Friday evening, uh, we went over, I think it's Friday. They all ran together. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Friday evening, went over to, to the BMW CCA headquarters, and there they had a, a wash station. Boy, was there ever a queue lined up for that. Yeah. And the back of my car looked like I hadn't washed it in about six months after we drove through all that rain. Yeah. So I was able to wash my car, and uh, the, the folks there were really nice. They shared all their washing supplies from Garrett's and, uh, and washed it, got out of the way so somebody else could come in and wash their car. And and I'm glad I did it then because the next day on the the grass when they had the the caffeine and uh, coffee, uh, you couldn't get near the 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 wash stand, so it wasn't available. So it worked out well. Awesome. Then the next morning, uh, we had cars and coffee or whatever you want to call it, caffeine and cars, whatever they called it. Well over 200 BMWs on a 20 acre grass lot, and and I've never seen that many BMWs in one place in my life. Wow, I was I was surprised uh, at at the variety. I mean, there was a guy I met there. Uh, I think you know him, um, uh, Rusty Johnson. Oh yeah, he has he has uh, an M3 that he's been working on for eighteen years, yeah. and it's it's over the top. And then there were guys with with stock cars like most, and then others that had modified them and everything in between. Yeah. But everyone was proud and happy about their cars. Great to share stories. And and I, I stayed out on the grass for a long time just talking to other car owners because each of us had our own story and it was it was a great event. That's awesome. So how does how does Sunday shake out for you? Ah, uh, Sunday, uh, you know, I was confused. I thought I was gonna go with the M group and I was all jazzed. Found out it was the X group, it's another alpha. And so I went with the X group and there were a couple M's in amongst it. And I thought it was gonna be a long drive, but it was a casual drive. Through the countryside, we went to a lake, don't ask me the name, yeah. and and then we went and had a meal together. And over the meal, I met a, a couple I talked to a little bit uh, from D.C., and then we went down to uh, uh, Green... Bird? No, Green... Greenville. Greenville. Thank you. Greenville. Yep. 
and and there's a, a beautiful hotel on the river by the the falls yep and so we went there and had an adult beverage and then went over to the falls and and it was absolutely gorgeous so we just continued to to share more car stories and uh that worked out well and then uh john and i went and had pizza sunday night and then drove the beast home on monday i uh i uh Larry has sent me a few uh, photographs, folks. So what I'll do is I'll put them down below. I asked Carol to put them down below for us so you can see some of the pics. And I think uh, Kevin, Kevin, Karen, Clayton, Brandon, and Lucas, uh, their sons were all there doing the same thing. And we'll get we'll get some pictures of them do the same thing down there. Yeah. Larry, yeah. It, it, you know, it, it was great driving up. You and I shared 700 miles on Thursday together. That was, that was yes. amazing. And we... You know, we've 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 shared a ton of miles. We have a lot more to go uh, as we're coming up for the October drive uh, in, in the middle of October. Uh, any final words? Yeah, thank you, Stan. I mean, thank you for all the things you you make available for us. Thank you for for leading the chapter. I mean, as I spoke to people, oh, you're with the Florida Sun suncoast chapter stan does a great job and and i said he's amazing you know he makes all these events available for us we have multiple events over most every weekend uh you know so it, you know being a brand ambassador for bmw and bmw cca is really easy for me with all of this stuff available that you make available to us so thank you so much dan well, thank you, Larry. I know you're busy. You're busy with your career plan and doing the things that you do. And, and it's just, it was a privilege to get some minutes on your time today, uh, just to be able to sit down and have this conversation. Folks, I wanted to share this. This is what it's all about. And with all the membership that we have throughout Florida Suncoast chapter, it is, uh, it, it, everybody has a story. And and this is the fun part about it. It's meeting people, uh, you know, the, you know, the mantra, the cars bring us together, the people keep us together. Um, I've heard the word family so many times over the last couple of days while while in South Carolina. Um, it's, it, it is truly amazing how this family of folks come together and, and enjoy the time. Uh, the, the, the $58 membership is, uh, is, a, is, a very, is a very well worth uh, investment to get the return. Uh, the ROI on the $58 is just remarkable. Um, I don't want to jack up the price anymore, but it's it's remarkable uh, over and above what we pay. Um, I, I joined the M chapter too, by the way. Yep, that's oh good, excellent, and that's another thing that we offer through our through our chapters association with the Z chapter. We're very we support them, the 2002 group, uh, the Sharks, um, the M chapter, the X chapter, uh, all the all the different. And if I and if I missed a chapter. Forgive me. It's just because I'm getting old and can't remember everything. So, uh, so folks, thank you very much. Thank you for taking time to watch the video. This is what it's all about. We'll bring more of these interviews to you uh, over the coming days. I'm working out in North Carolina for the next uh, 10 days, finishing up the planning for the October drive and uh, getting all those details in place. And um, so it's that time of the year again. Larry Cobb, thank you so much. Thanks for being a friend. Thanks for being a loyal chapter member. Thanks for being an ambassador to the brand. And we, we certainly appreciate you. I appreciate you guys. You know, it's, it's a joy to be here. All right. Thank you so much.